Connecting Central Texas. This is Good Morning Texas. Good morning, I'm Andrea Morgan. And I'm Joe Gum. Here are your top stories for today. Gatesville ISD set to hold a memorial service for a girl who died in a house fire before Christmas. A memorial service for Cheyenne Harrington is happening today at 2 p.m. at the Gatesville High School Gymnasium. In lieu of flowers, an account has been opened to help reestablish the family's home. If you would like to help, donations to the account can be made at any National United Bank location. Also, a GoFundMe account has been set up. We have a link to that account in this story on our website, kxxv.com. Now that the holidays are behind us, we can start stressing about other things like taxes. You might be tempted to get started right away, but experts say if you are expecting a refund, the best thing to do is wait. As usual, employers have until the end of January to get you your W-2. You can sometimes get the same info from your final paycheck of 2019, but if it's wrong, that can lead to delays in processing any returns. Now it's time for a check on your first alert forecast. Felicia. We have some patchy fog around this morning, so you want to use your fog lights and take it a little bit slower if you do encounter some. It's mainly east of I-35. High temperatures will be going in the mid to upper 50s for today. Some places the lower 60s down in the Brasses Valley, and then we're going down into the lower 40s as we head closer towards 10 o'clock with lots of sunshine this afternoon. Connect us online at kx6v.com and the 25 News mobile app.